Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a super simple way to add motion blur to your footage in Premiere Pro. Hey guys, you're watching Downski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest way possible to add a cool motion blur effect to any of your footage in Premiere Pro. This could be graphics, text, it could be video footage, absolutely anything. So, let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in Premiere Pro and you can see I've imported a photo already. This can be an image, it can be some video footage, some text. Just go up to File, down to Import, or just double click in this empty space here in the project window to import your content. And if your workspace doesn't quite look like this, you can see I'm using the editing workspace. Just go to Window, down to Workspaces, and you've got them all here. So first of all, I'm going to drag my content to the timeline. I don't have any sequences created yet, so if I just let go, it will create a new sequence and I can double click on the text and give this a name. A rather uncreative name apparently and <laughs> let's just zoom in there and we have a photo here and typically we would select the photo or the graphic go up to effect controls and we've got position here we set a keyframe to define the starting point we scrub a bit further in we adjust this so this adjusts the x axis here and we play through and it looks like this it's very slow and there's no blur or anything so let's go to edit undo we'll take it back a little bit so we've got no effects applied on our photo now i'm actually going to zoom in and we'll go to about i think we'll go to one second so you can see me scrubbing here using the playhead and we've got one second there so what i'm going to do now is just click on the content on the timeline and instead of using this position adjustment here i'll just collapse that i'm going to go to the effects panel at the bottom down to video effects and distort. Scroll down and we have transform here, or you can just type transform in the search bar if that's easier. Click and drag this onto your footage or your graphic or your text and you'll see that it is now listed here. So what I'm going to do now is do exactly the same thing, but I'm specifically going to use the position option under the transform effect. So I'm just going to bring this playhead to the point where I want to start my animation. So that's one second in. And we'll click this and you see it adds a keyframe there. And I'm going to go forward. Let's go forward something like this. And then what I'm going to do is click and drag this all the way out. So we're playing our animation pretty early on. I don't need all of this excess here, so I can just hover over the end. And when I get this red arrow, just bring that in. And if I scrub through this, you can see it holds for a minute and then it very quickly shimmies out of the way. So let's just play that. There we go. Fantastic. Well, it's not that fantastic. It's fine, I guess. But this is where the magic happens. So we've applied the position movement under the transform effect. And now we need to just deselect, use composition's shutter angle and set the shutter angle to 180 degrees. Press return. And if I play this through now, you'll see as it moves out, it applies some motion blur. Now I think that's probably still a touch too slow. So all I can do is just grab this keyframe here. We'll bring these really close together We'll go back to the beginning and we'll play that again and it should whip out of the scene pretty quickly. And there you go, you really get a taste of that motion blur effect in action. And there we go, there's a really quick and easy way to add a cool motion blur effect to your video footage, your graphics, text, whatever it is, all inside Premiere Pro. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.